Hello and welcome to another episode of West Key Customs. Uh, in this episode we tackle the Matchbox Ford F100 pickup. Not really a sort of restoration, more of a customisation on this one. Here is the uh, the die cast as purchased uh, from eBay one night. It was too cheap to sort of pass on and I've always liked the American Ford F100 pickup and especially like them when they have been customised. So I thought I'd purchase this one as it was so cheap and sort of put my own touch on it and sort of make it look how um, I would want one to look if I owned one. So as you can see, the, the oval die cast itself, in, in good condition, played with but in good condition. So here we go, here's the uh, the start of the sort of customization. Obviously first thing that we did was to tackle the uh, the posts, the rivets on the bottom of the base plate. So just simply sort of drill out the heads on these ones. Two heads that needed drilling out, uh, one at the front, one at the back. So carefully drill out the head, making sure you don't go down too far, because um, at the moment I don't know how much sort of um, metal is behind the rivet. In some cases you look at it, it's hardly anything uh, behind there. Um, in this case, I think I'm pretty lucky on this one, and it actually had quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of meat left. Um, quite a tough one. This the rivets were quite actually uh, well into the base, so I needed to actually drill the heads off a couple of times to make sure they were fully clear. Um, wanted to be a bit cautious as well because this die cast has a plastic base, um, so the last thing you want to do is to uh, drill through the plastic base make the holes um, too large so when you put the new retaining screw in they would fall through the holes and not secure the base plate so what I've decided to do is I've drilled them out as much as I really want to drill them out I'm now just grabbing a screwdriver to see if I can actually sort of pop the base plate off there we go there's the back one the back one's come off and the front one the front one was a little bit more tricky I didn't want to put too much force on it because as I said before the base plate on this one is plastic so I didn't want to sort of bend or, or break the base plate, I wanted to try and get it off in one piece and also the, the front grille bumper section is actually part of the base plate as well and obviously if I'd put too much force and twisted it, it could have made the uh, the front bumper and the grille actually snap off as well. So just carefully prising it off, giving it a bit of a wiggle each time, might just give it another go with the grille just to get rid of a few more bits of the base plate because it seems to be catching, sure it's going to come off in a minute. Just needs a bit of gentle persuasion. There we go, and it's off. So there's the base plate. Uh, so it's plastic, obviously chrome plated on this one. Um, the wheels come straight off. Not very keen on these wheels. Axles are bent as well. It's like somebody's tried to lower it themselves while pushing it down. But the wheels are very basic, so they're going to be changed out. We'll just get rid of these uh, bits of swarf. Uh, little plastic interior, very basic, but all okay. Actually, quite good condition. Um, it's actually quite a quite a new die cast, so it's not that dirty. Looks like whoever had it before had actually played with it uh, carefully. Glass, for once the glass is actually in good condition. Normally the ones that I do, the glasses are scratched or broken. As you can see, there's uh, the posts there, so they look like there's enough meat left on the post to be able to drill those out, ready for uh, putting in some new screws to fix it. But next steps will be on this one, obviously we're going to need to get all the paint off it, and then sort of do a test fit with the uh, with the new wheels and bits and pieces. Quite good details on this one actually. Um, but so let's get it in the paint strip. So here we go. Here's the uh, here's the vehicle with the die cast after it's been paint stripped. Um, so as you can see, all the paint's been moved. I had to do a bit of modification here to the base plate ready because I want to get the suspension on this lowered. So what I've done is I actually cut out the centre of the base plate because that protruded quite low down, and it would have meant that the wheels would have. Uh, not been able to get sort of high up in the arches as I want to because the floor would have been dragged on the floor. So I cut the centre of the base plate out. I'm actually going to re-stick the centre of the base plate further in. Um, need to do something with the running balls on the side because uh, they're sort of in the way and also they don't look like they're centred to the cab either so I want to sort of cut them off and realign them. And obviously the bottom of the, uh, the axles need to trim those off as well. These are the wheels I'm going to use. And as you can see, if I put them roughly where I want them to be in the arch, you can see that it's not going to roll because the, uh, the bottom of the axles protrude further. So I will remove the bottom of these axles. Um, so I've stuck the bit of plastic hard, a bit of styrene on the base to support it. Ready for when I do chop the uh, the wheels off, the, uh, the axles off. Here's the interior. Just giving the interior a coat of red paint. So I'm thinking of uh, a red interior on this one. So I've given that a coat of red while I was waiting for the paint strip to happen. 
Um, what I'll need to do now is I'll need to um, remove some of the uh, some of the base plate bits here and there to make sure there's ad adequate room for the wheels to move. So I need to open up the uh, the inner arches as well on this one just to allow enough room for the wheels to tuck up inside the arches, uh, enable for them to to move. So here we go. Here's the uh, here's a dummy run of how it will look in bare metal. Fix the axles onto the base plate, and as you can see, it rolls nicely. And I've lowered the suspension on it, which I think suits the die cast uh, a lot better in this case. And actually, quite happy with the wheel choice as well. I've had these wheels kicking around for a little while, just waiting for the right car, and I think this is the right one. As you can see, I had to uh, make a bit of a cut in the uh, bed floor to open up to allow the axles to sit, and I've also made a couple of uh, arch inner arch tubs to cover the inside of the wheels. Also ground a lot of the base underneath away to sort of make access for the wheels. As you can see, the plastic hard styrene base uh, reinforcer I've put on. And there you can see the original part of the uh, base plate, which I've actually put back in, but it actually sits lower now because I've recessed it into the uh, into the base plate, but now it rolls. Also, I did what I said. I cut the uh, the running boards off of the off of the frame of the base plate and moved them up, and also aligned them so they actually fit a bit better with the body. Um, here you go. I've got a couple of uh, hat pins which I've just bent into little uh, door mirrors. These will go on the uh, on the die cast when it's all painted up. Just simply got a hat pin and bent them round. Um, as you can see, the base fits on the body fits nicely on the base and it rolls and uh, yeah happy how this one turned out so here we go here's the finished um, die cast the finished model before we sort of uh, put it together as you can see base plate all painted up just painted it some satin black um, just to sort of make it look a bit neater didn't bother painting the inside because you're not going to see that but it's uh, it's all on there the chrome I've touched up as well base plates uh, the running balls as you can see move them up as well can't really see them here because I've painted them black to match the body but uh, move them up and relocate them so they actually sit aligned better with the main cab of the body glass all I did on the glass is I actually cut the quarter glasses down because the quarter glasses protruded past the pillar and they looked a bit uh, bit strange as to why they were there so I actually cut the quarter glass down so it's got a single window um, which is a common sort of upgrade on these vans uh, on these uh, pickup trucks um, base uh, made a bed floor there out of a bit of styrene with some uh, vinyl wood wrap on it um, here's the base all painted up and detailed uh, as you can see painted all the back uh, it's got a little bit of silver silver sticky stripe there for where I did the uh, the wood floor painted all up fitted door mirrors just poked them through the holes and uh, glued them in on the inside holes have been drilled out ready for the to be secured so let's put it all together and here we are here's the finished model so as you can see all put together now sprayed it gloss black uh, which i think looks very good on on these models i think if i remember rightly chip foose has got one in this color and uh, i've always liked that uh, addition of overhauling i think his truck looks nice but yeah overall very happy with how this one turned out it was meant to be just a quick simple little project just a color change a new set of wheels but obviously got a lot more involved having to modify the chassis and the underneath to allow the new wheels to fit and to lower the suspension and to allow it to roll but yeah overall very happy with this one um turned out just how i wanted it to look don't think i'd do anything different to this one um so i just wanted it plain and simple gloss black lowered suspension and a nice set of wheels just a few more details just to bring the uh, the model up to uh, a better sort of standard to how it was when it was released by Matchbox. Um, here you can see the uh, the bed wanted to do something slightly different than just paint the bed black. So as I say, a bit of vinyl there and some chrome stripes to, to sort of make the effect of a wood floor. So thanks for watching this edition of uh, West Key Customs. Hope you enjoyed the Matchbox customization. Uh, wasn't really say restoration, more just a custom because the actual die cast itself was in good condition. Um, keep looking out. There will be a few more um, that I'll put up shortly. I've got a few more models on going at the moment that are in the process of being sort of customized uh, and restored. So I hope to see you next time. Thanks again for looking and please subscribe if you want to see some more. Thank you.